Absolutely no problems. Everything is good. Everything's a go. We got our go yesterday. A Calhoun County Bingo Hall is open for business again tonight. It's been months since people played bingo at I-20 in Hobson City, but managers say they have their permits and the games will go on. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens is live in the studio. I-20 I Bingo back in action. Sorry, Sharon, it's actually been there for some time. The Calhoun County, though, has a history of bingo halls opening, closing, even shut down by the sheriff's office. And part of that, I'm told, comes from the complicated process of securing a valid bingo permit. But I-20 bingo managers say they're ready to go. 061. Bingo. Or bingo. Card. The sound of bingo fills the air at I-20 bingo in Hobson City Friday night. Four and zero. It shut down in March, even though it's been operating out of this same building for years. New managers say it took nearly a year to put everything in place. It's a drooling process, and it can be very lengthy. First, you have to have a viable charity, according to the Calhoun County Bingo Regulatory Commission. And then, on top of having that, that you have to go, if it's in a municipality, you have to go to that municipality first. And then there are the permits from the commission and the city. In this case, that's Hobson City. It gets a percentage of the money raised here. And, and it's, very, it's a very good income for the smaller cities like Hobson City. It, it, it can fund a lot of things for them. The bingo hall expects between 50 and 70 people for this opening weekend, and a lot of them are return customers. Oh, I've been playing here for years, and it just, I always like coming here. It's right here at home, just on a 10-minute drive, so, you know, it's a good outlet. I like here. Everybody's a family. <laughs> I-20 Bingo supports the League for Animal Welfare as its charity. They'll be open Fridays through Sundays starting at 4. Live in the studio, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News.